Hello everybody, today's lesson we're going to talk about breeds of pony native to the UK. We are fortunate in Britain to have such a wide variety of native horse and pony breeds. If you go to your local agricultural show in the summer, you will see many different types of breeds of horse and pony. The horses and ponies that we will be looking at today are pure breeds. Many of the horses and ponies that you see in the fields are part breds. This means they're a mixture of pure breed horses or ponies. This is Spot. Spot is an Exmo pony. Exmos are from 11.2 hands high to 12.3 hands high. Spot is lighter around his eye. This is called a toad eye. He's also lighter around his muzzle. This is called a mealy muzzle. All Exmos have a mealy muzzle and toad eyes. Exmos are commonly done, which is this caramel coat with a black mane, a black tail and black legs. Exmos can also be bay and brown. Exmos are Britain's oldest native breed. There are still wild herds of Exmo ponies roaming the moors in Exmoor today. Exmoors are very hardy and very strong, so they were very popular among farmers. Exmoors grow two layers of coat in the winter. The base coat is a very fine springy hair. This keeps them very warm. The top coat is a thick, greasy, coarse, waterproof hair and this helps to keep them dry. If trained well, Exmoors can make very good children's riding ponies. Texas is a Connemara pony. Connemaras come from the boggy moorland in Ireland and the island's only native breed. They are mostly grey, but they can also be bay, black and brown. Connemaras are 13 hands to 14 two. Texas here is about 13 two hands high. Connemara ponies are very friendly, they're willing, they're obedient and they're willing to please. They were very popular among farmers for these traits. Nowadays they are used by children for the show jumping, for the cross country, for dressage and hunter trials. As you can see, Texas is very quiet, very calm and very placid. And this is generally what Connemaras are like. They're very easy going and very sociable. Hello everybody, this is Prancer. Prancer is a Welsh Section A pony. Welsh Section A ponies are very pretty and they can come in any colour apart from piebald and skewbald. Prancer is bay. He's bay because he's got a brown body and a black mane and a black tail. Welsh Section A's are from the mountains in Wales. They don't grow above 12.2 hands high. Section A's are the smallest of the Welsh ponies. They are hardy, strong and intelligent. They are the foundation of all other Welsh ponies. If well trained, these ponies can make very good children's ponies for riding and for driving. Brandy is a Welsh pony of cob type Section C. He's a bigger, stronger version of the Welsh mountain pony. He also can be found in any colour apart from piebald or skewbald. The Welsh Section C 
is active, sure-footed and hardy. And for this reason, they were very popular among the hill farmers in Wales for transport and for herding sheep. They have a natural jump which makes them good all-round riding ponies for children and adults. Hello everybody, this is Copper. Copper is a Dales pony. Dales ponies can grow 14 hands to 14 two hands high. The commonly bay as copper is here, brown, grey or black. Dales ponies were used in the north of England on the Pennines, on the mountain range. They were used for transporting lead from the mines to the north of England. They used to carry two pigs of lead from the lead mines to the factories. A pig of lead weighed 120 pounds, which is about nine and a half stone, about the average weight of a woman. They used to carry two of these pigs of lead, so that was the equivalent of carrying two women. They often travelled up to 100 miles a week. If the mines had run out of coal or wood for burning, they would then carry wood or coal from the factories back to the mines as well. This is Comet. He's a Welsh Section D. Section Ds are about 13 two hands high and there is no upper limit. They are mo mainly found about comet size here, which is about 15 hands. They come in any colours apart from piebald or skewbald. Comet is bay. He's got a brown body, a black mane and also a black tail. <coughs> section Ds are a bigger, stronger version of the Section C. They still have many of the pony characters, but they're a lot bigger and stronger. They've got stronger joints, so the legs can take a lot more work. Welsh Section Ds were very popular among farmers for pulling heavy loads because they have got plenty of stamina and they're very strong. Today they are used for many activities including show jumping, dressage, hunting and even driving. They are known to be the best ride and drive pony in the world. This is Blossom. Blossom is a Shire horse. Shire horses are around 16 two hands high and there is no upper limit. Shire horses can be bay, black or grey. Blossom here is bay. She's got a black mane and a black tail. Shire horses were very popular with the farmers as they were very strong so they were, they were ideal horses for ploughing fields and for pulling heavy loads. They were also seen on the canals for pulling barges. Since the tractor has come along, the horse's use on the farm has declined. Some breweries around England today still use the Shire horse to pull the drays around the town.